Hello and welcome to Stotts Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying any whole number by a two or three digit whole number. So we've got two example questions here. Now as with the previous video where we multiplied a whole number by just a single digit whole number, we arrange these two numbers so that we right align them. So imagine an, an edge on the right, we're going to push these two numbers up to the right like this so that the units digit is in the same column, the tens digit, and so on. And this is known as column multiplication we're about to do. So remember before that each of these digits at the top we multiply by this digit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle this and if we could just ignore this 3 for the moment, we would do each of the digits here times by that 3. So 3 times 3, 2 times 3, 1 times 3. So if we do the 3 times 3 first, that is 9, and we put that here. Then we do the 2 times 3, which is 6. And then we do the 1 times 3, which is 3. So we've just done 123 multiplied by that 3 to get 369. Now this is where it gets a bit more complicated. We want three lots of 123, as we have, but we also want 30 lots of 123, because if you think about it, this three here is a tens digit, so that's worth three tens. So we want the three lots of 1d3 and another 30 lots of 123. So we want to multiply 1d3 by 30. What we do is because 30 has a zero on the end, on this next row, I'm going to put a zero at the end. And now I want to multiply the 123 by 3. So I'm going to put, again, a circle around this just to keep track of what I'm doing. And now we're going to multiply each of these digits by the 3. So we do the 3 times the 3, which is 9. We do the 2 times the 3, which is 6. And we do the 1 times the 3, which is 3. So this is 3 lots of 123, and this is 30 lots of 123, and we want the sum of both, so we get 33 lots of 123. So now we just add these two numbers. So we do 9 plus 0 is 9. We do 6 plus 9 is 15. So we put the 5 there and we carry the 1. I put the carry underneath where well, I'm going to put my next number. 3 plus 6 is 9, plus the 1 is 10. So we put the 0 here, the units digit of 10, and carry the 1. And then we've got the 3 plus that carried 1 is 4. So we get 4,059. Now this one's going to be harder because we have more carries and such. So again, let's arrange this into columns so we can do column multiplication. There are other methods, by the way, of multiplying numbers. Something called the grid method, for example, but I'm not going to explore that here. So again... We do 476 just multiplied by the 9 for the moment, so I'm going to put a circle around that. And then we first do the 6 times the 9, that's 54. So we put the 4 here, carry the 5. So remember, if we get 54, we put the units digit there, and then we carry the tens digit and put it underneath the next column as a little small number. So we've done 6 times 9, now 7 times 9, that's 63 plus the carried 5, that's 68. So we put the units digit, 8, carry the 6. And then we do 4 times 9. 4 times 9 is 36, plus the carried 6 is 42. So you put the 2 here, and we haven't got anywhere left to put the carried 4, so we just do 4, 2, 8, 4. So when we get to the end of the number, we don't have any numbers to times by left. We just put the full number there. So that's 476 times 9. Now I need to do 476 times 20. So we've got 9 lots of 476, and now we want 20 lots of 476, and then we're going to add them together. Now, because we're timesing by 20, we just put a 0 on the end, and that allows me to just multiply this by 2 now. So we're going to do each of these digits at the top times by the 2. So we start on the right. 6 times 2 is 12, so we put the 2, carry the 1. Next, we do 7 times 2 is 14, plus the 1 is 15. And then we do the 4 times the 2, which is 8, plus the carried 1 is 9. And now, as before, we need to add those two numbers together. So ignore these carries that we have. You might, in fact, want to cross them out if it's going to confuse you. So we've got 4284 
plus 952a. So 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 2 is 10, so 0, carry the 1. 2 plus 5 is 7, plus the carried 1 is 8. And 4 plus 9 is 13. We're at the end, so we're just going to write 13. And that is the final answer.